What we're going to do for this episode is we're going to do something that, uh, to the best of my knowledge, has never been done before. We're going to mount a GoPro 2 on a umpire's uh, mask and helmet. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. Hi, this is Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV, and um, before we actually start this particular episode, what I'd like to do is tell you a very quick story. Um, I was assisting W. Gene Smith, the great, great documentarian photographer for Life magazine, and um, we had to go and judge a NPPA photo contest, and on one long wall, there was Nikon, Canon, Pentax, Minolta, etc., Kodak, and on the other wall were approximately 200 photographs. And like a puppy dog, I was following behind Smith, and as he walked past all the photographs, he stopped at the very end. It was a long, narrow um, uh, room, and then he turned around and he looked at all the cameras. When he got to the end of the, when he made the complete turn around, he gingerly tapped his head on the wall and I moved sideways to him and he looked down and said, all new cameras, no new photographs. And at that point, I understood exactly what he was saying. As photographers, both you and I, men, women, whatever we are, guys, girls, kids, we all want to make a better photograph. That's the name of the game. And we want to try and make a different photograph. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. So, but we're going to continue to try and do that all the time. We did two baseball episodes. And this is going to be the third episode. And we wanted to change it up. So what we did is we made some phone calls. And we spoke to the AAA Yankees and the AAA Phillies. And we went back and forth, and we negotiated and negotiated. We set everything up and was ready to go. We went into the umpire's dressing room, and the umpire said, I don't want to do it. And all of a sudden, everything stopped. At that point, as photographers, we have to pull a rabbit out of the hat. So I talked to him, and he said, well, I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not comfortable with that. We were going to mount two cameras on, on his helmet. So I negotiated it down to one. So we actually negotiated down to one of the GoPros, and that's what we did. Um, and he limited us to no more than um, three innings. And the concept here was to get all nine baseball players in one frame and the batter. So you have everybody that's on the field, all of the defense and the one offensive hitter. And the concept there was to do a photograph that had never been done before and a video that had never been done before. Some things have held true since 1838, which is shutter speeds and apertures. And we're so used to setting shutter speeds and apertures that that's just the way it is. With the GoPro, you may say to yourself, wow, he doesn't have to do anything but put the camera uh, on the umpire's helmet and uh, off he goes. Well, that's not exactly true. 80% uh, of the games are done at night, so we had to make a selection on what time of day we wanted to shoot. And they had 12 o'clock starts, 1 o'clock starts, 3 o'clock starts. I chose the 3 o'clock start because that would give me the shadows that I wanted, the lighting that I wanted, and it would be able to light both the catcher the uh, batter and the pitcher and the rest of the, uh, the nine defensive players. And it would give me an overall absolutely great photograph. So in lieu of actually setting a shutter speed or an aperture, what I did is I selected 24 frames per second and the time of day that I would do it and limited it to um, a couple of innings. And that's how you derive that. It's, uh, it's more than just happenstance, it's not luck. What it happens to be is it happens to be the knowledge of not only the game, but the knowledge of light. 
So this is Joe DiMaggio of Radorama TV, and thanks an awful lot, and uh, please subscribe to my, uh, my internet station and all of the other great teachers that are, for, that, that are on Adorama. We're all dedicated for one thing and one thing only, to make you a better photographer. Uh, we, we, we keep our egos in the car or in the trunk of the car or wherever, or we file them away. We're more interested in you becoming better photographers. So again, uh, Joe DiMaggio, if you have an opportunity, stop out and uh, go to the Adorama store or stop by on the web page. Hey, and follow my blog, please. That would be great. And I'm now tweeting. I tweet, tweet, tweet. What was the name of that? Sylvester and Tweety. I'm, an, I'm now a tweeter. I can find that hard to believe. So it's Joe D. Thanks an awful lot. Take care. Ask the question again. What happens if it gets black by the wall? You get one great picture and a camera blown into about 15,000 pieces. <laughs> but you know what? It's a great shot, though. It, it is really is. Shot. It's a great shot. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m., and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.